Welcome Aquarius, all my mermaids and mermen. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and your Angel Oracle reading for the week of May the 7th to the 13th, 2019. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing. Please be sure to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Pisces out there. But if it does, run with it. Swim away with it and throw the rest out into the open sea. But if you'd like answers to any personal questions, clarity and accuracy, then I welcome you to go up to the top right hand corner of this video and click the icon. Also, the information is below this video how to contact me for a private reading. Yes, I am still doing the pay it forward 30 minutes for $30 discounted limited time only <clears throat> sale. Please know that I am going to the end of May and that I still have some openings available. If you want to read book and do a second reading with me and you want to bank that until the end of May, you can go in there and pay for that. Let me know by email and I will bank it at another time when you request a reading with me at that discounted price. Or even better, you can gift it to a friend. So <clears throat> please know that all you have to do is go in there and I have still a few available appointments, but this is only until the end of May. Okay, my beautiful fish, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, let's see what we have here. Well, you know, starting off right away, you've got a water card. Of course, you're going to get a cups and a water card. You're, you're the Pisces. We can't have it. We can't have a reading without a water card, right? And this is the king of water. <clears throat> and this is telling me that you're going to be taking on the traits of this king. You're going to be able to be trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. And you're going to be opening your heart and your mind to those around you because that's what this king is like. You may be getting some advice from this king, who is a water sign, of course, who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, to guide you with something. He's going to be giving you advice, and it's going to be trustworthy and heartfelt. So if you're dealing with something on an emotional level, on a heart level, sharp chakra level, know that <clears throat> this king may be coming forward to give you some beautiful, beautiful advice and help you. He's doing it out of the goodness of his heart. He doesn't want anything in return for it, because this is almost like an act of charity from him. I do see that you are also going to be stepping up, some of you Pisces, and doing something in a charitable way, paying it forward. Well, I'm a Pisces. Look what I'm doing right now with this reading, with these cards. <clears throat> I'm paying it forward. And that's who we are. The Pisces is always the one that wants to heal everybody, give to everybody, and loves everybody. Excuse me, but I have a whole pile of Harleys going down the street beside me. That's what that racket is. And I, I shouldn't complain because, you know, I have a bike, I had a bike too, and that's my bike in the picture and me on it. So, Pisces, know that you will be getting some beautiful advice from someone coming in, another water sign. And know that you will be taking on this uh, act of charity yourself. You may be giving to the less fortunate. You may be joining an organization. You may be wanting to do something for someone else without any expectations coming back. It's beautiful when we have that feeling of charity in our hearts. This is a beautiful all-over energy to start your week off with. Feeling that, you know, I mean, let's face it, the Pisces is the most sensitive sign on the, on the zodiac. We absorb all energy because we're like the sea sponges and we have to know when to let it go. Such as this. This is the past. We got to let this go, Pisces. This is about feeling lost, feeling brokenhearted, feeling betrayed, feeling walked away from... This was a three-party situation. The third party stirred up the pot and made this come to fruition. And we have to walk away from it, okay? We're moving on. It was great sadness for us. We're healing now, and we need to forgive ourselves and the situation and them and let it go. Throw it out into the sea. We don't want it. Well, throw it out into the universe. We don't want to pollute our sea with it either. So this is healing time. You need to still continue. This is up. <clears throat> you have to let this uh, this energy go, Pisces. You have to stop thinking about it. Uh, it's done and done, and it was in the past, and now you're moving forward to heal. Because I'm telling you, Pisces, our cups are coming in. We have the Ten of Water. Again, of course we get a water card, right? And this is showing us that we're okay now. We're healing. We're getting beyond that. Our cups are coming in in more ways than we ever imagined before this situation happened, okay? <clears throat> this was a learning experience, something that you know, was a tower moment in our lives that we just didn't see coming. And then, you know what? After time, we look back and we go, hmm, yeah, I guess I didn't see that. 
Okay, so your cups are coming in big time, big time. This is not make a wish, Pisces, with the nine of cups. This is the ten. This is a contented and rewarding, rewarding family life. This is knowing that your emotional and your materials are being met. You know, you know that you're in trustworthy relationships now. This isn't going to happen again to you. You learn from that, Pisces, and you know now that anybody that's walking your path now, they're legitimate. They're, they have integrity. They truly mean what they say and they feel with their emotions with you. <clears throat> because you got the world, my beautiful Pisces. doesn't get much better than that. At the end of this, we've learned from our mistakes. It's a job well done. We, we're moving in new directions, full circle. For some of us, it's, it's it, well, you know what? Pisces, we're going to see the success, not only in our relationships and our love life and our home life, but we're seeing it in our financial life. You know, there have been some <clears throat> some trials and bridges to climb and some mountains to overcome and walk and try to climb up and over through the last 10 years, but things are starting to come into play now. Pisces, we're going to see the benefit of this. We're going to see the benefit of finances, happy home life, happy love life, all around good health. Things are improving for many of us, okay? It may not be all of those things for all of us, but I'm telling you, I would expect it to come in. It's a job well done. We're going to be feeling joy and contentment and gratitude again. And we are now on the path towards enlightenment. We are evolving. We are ascending. We are growing on our path. And we're bringing all those with us. All those cups are being filled. We learned from the past. We're moving on. That's over and done with. Wow, Pisces. Let's see what we've got here for the Lennerman deck to add to this reading, the energy in here. So you know what? Yes, some of us hold on very hard. We are fish. When we get wounded, our skin is thin and the wound goes deep. It takes us a while to forgive and forget. It takes us a while to get over that pain. We're, we're very sensitive in that way, but we're doing it now. And, and <clears throat> we have to let it go because we know there's something better ahead. And it's already starting in our lives, Pisces. We can see that. We can see that, you know, some of us have... I've, I've put some uh, applied more effort into new people in our lives that have more legitimacy and are more uh, <clears throat> more true to us and more honest to us and faithful to us and we're seeing the benefits of that coming in also with our jobs our careers our professions this is the time of us receiving what we're putting in the efforts we're putting into our careers and we're going to see the fruition of that we're going to see money coming in Pisces, this is our time. We don't get it by sitting on the couch and not applying ourselves and not moving forward, but it's coming. You, Here's the gift. I told you. You're getting over the broken heart, okay? You're getting over the broken heart. Now, this could be a gift coming in of apology from whoever did this to you. You, I wouldn't put this, uh, I wouldn't put this completely aside. Uh, time heals all wounds, and you may be getting uh, a gift coming in from the, this situation here, and it'll be entirely up to you, Pisces. Uh, you know, you'll never be the same in your heart. But you can accept the gift graciously and see where it goes from there. This is healing. This is success. Again, this is a beautiful card of success and business, success and money, and also bringing us peace of mind. Look at the peace of mind we get with these Ten of Cups. You've got it here again. This is being, being divinely and universally sent to us. I'm telling you, this is our time on our path to see this success come in. Now, this is the only card here that I would be hesitant over. Someone has the ability to be very slick. Uh, it's not the mask. They're not saying one thing and meaning another. But this person has the ability to uh, slither into a situation and come on as one person. And then all of a sudden something triggers them and bang, they show their true colors and their fangs come out. So just be careful of anybody in your circle. This could be they're telling you someone new that you may be meeting. Uh, they come on as though they're trustworthy. But I want you to just beware, Pisces. We have a great ability to do a character analysis. We're, you know, we're so intuitive. We're so psychic. Uh, I'm sure we're going to know when this person arrives and we'll have the ability to know, you know what, not getting to me. I got the world in my hands, baby, and I'm not letting you get to me. Okay, let's see what we got, Pisces, with our final outcome. Answers from our angels. Perfect timing. Didn't I talk to you about this? Didn't I? Haven't I been saying this? Haven't you heard other psychics and card readers saying that? This is a Pisces time. This is, we've lived 10 years of hard times, a lot of us, and now we're over the grieving. We're over, we're learned, we've learned our lessons. This is where things are going to evolve on, on our path, and it's all because of divine perfect timing. This is the perfect timing for the situation that we've been waiting for to happen. Move forward with confidence, my Pisces. Don't delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is presently opening for you. Conditions are right. Even if you don't feel prepared, rest assured that you are. This is perfect timing. Things are happening for us. Look at this, Pisces. Angel of miracles. Open your heart and expect things to get better, okay? Angels shine a divine light of intelligence. 
made of the highest and purest of the Holy Spirit. Angels bestow gifts and miracles upon you, appearing in many forms, a bird, a butterfly, an animal, or the brightest and only flower in the blossom. When coincidence, synchronicities, and miracles start to happen in your life, you know that the angels are with you. The angels also assist and guide you during life changes or challenges, comforting you to the next stage of your journey. Anything is possible, Pisces, with angels, so that you can expect a positive outcome, knowing the angels have heard your prayers. It's our time, Pisces. It's all about perfect timing. The gifts are coming in. The success is coming in. We're getting over this, this tower broken heart moment. Our cups are flowing in. New people are walking with us. We aren't going to put up with these people anymore because we got the world in our hands and we're looking at life in such a kind, charitable manner. Beautiful, beautiful reading, my Pisces. I wish you a great remainder to today and a positive outlook here. This is our time, Pisces. We're going to shine. We're walking our new path. We're going to see the success come in from our efforts that we've made in the past and the lessons we've learned. See you again soon, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, and know that I stand only in this circle of love and light for you always.